The rotating hydraulic union at the back of the lathe spindle is a pretty simple device. The hydraulic cylinder has O-ring seals on the piston, but the stationary section has no seals at all. It relies on a very close fit and a controlled amount of internal leakage. These unions are designed to make it hard for coolant to get in, but it's not impossible. So if your hydraulic oil is milky and is contaminated with coolant, then your hydraulic union is not broken. It is probably caused by how coolant is flowing through the back of the draw tube. You should keep the center cap installed on your chuck and the back cap installed on your union whenever possible. But if you're running long bars or you need the draw tube open for some reason, then be aware that coolant will flow through the draw tube and will spill out the back into the coolant collector. This is normal and how the system works. That's why we call it the coolant collector. This joint right here has a very small gap with no seals. If coolant reaches this gap, it's possible that some coolant can weep through the joint into the case gap where it drains right back into the hydraulic tank. Most unions have a switch flag installed that gets used for clamp and unclamp sensing in some application. But this flag also serves as a slinger. See how coolant is thrown outwards, away from the draw tube. But note that this behavior changes quite a bit with spindle speed. Now, here's a view of the same union with this switch flag removed. Notice how at certain speed, the coolant is sprayed directly at the gap where it can contaminate the hydraulics. If you have a recent ST lathe, you'll notice that the switch flag sits further away from the gap between the spindle and the union housing, making it harder for coolant to enter this gap. So if you're running an application that puts coolant through the back of the draw tube, Take a close look at how coolant flows at your spindle speed and coolant flow rates. Be ready to change spindle speed or to reinstall the slinger if it has been removed. Sometimes adding a high spindle liner adapter can help by moving the coolant spillage 8 to 10 inches further away from the union. And remember, if you don't take steps to keep coolant from getting into your union case drain, then sooner or later, you will be dealing with contaminated oil. These caps are provided for a reason. So if you don't need to run bars through the spindle, keep these caps on and save yourself problem in the future. And thanks for watching.